I don't think so. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Denez and today we're going to talk about stunt fighters, when to use them, and how to use them. Now everything you're going to hang in your house it does not require a stud finder. Most of your pictures and stuff like that you can just fasten straight to the drywall and that'll be secure enough. There are certain times you want to use a stud finder and that's when you want to find a stud to put a bigger screw in or a lag. Like when you're hanging a flat screen TV or a kayak, very important to get that screw fastened securely so that object doesn't fall off, right? Okay, so stud finders work by detecting the density of the material. So your normal thickness of drywall is at a half inch and you get over to the stud, it's gonna alert you to the difference in the variation. So the most important feature on a stud finder if you're going out to get one is I'd like them to detect AC or current in the wall. And I'll show you that here in a second how that works. So to use a stud finder, you come over here where you think there is no studs. I mean, the chance of landing on a stud is pretty low, but anything's possible, right? So I know there's no stud here because I visually can see it and I wanted you, know, you guys to see the cutout and how it actually works. So I'll come over here, calibrate it. So that it calibrated to the thickness of the drywall right there. As I start sliding over, you'll start seeing it lighten up. Let me know I'm close to the edge. There, it says there's an edge there. So I'm just gonna mark with a pencil. If you guys are uh, marking picture frames or whatever, pencils are nice, you know, over markers or ink pens, because you can erase it and it will do minimal damage to the uh, paint, to the top coat. And if you're like bare drywall like this, you can paint right over a pencil without priming it. Come over here where I think there's no dry or stud. Calibrate to the drywall and slide it back. Getting close. All right, it says it's there. Uh, now one thing I, I notice with these cheaper models is they're hypersensitive. So I know that the uh, stud is not that wide. You know, they're only an inch and a half. So, so looking at that, I'm a little bit on that way, a little bit on that way. So what I'd like to do is just measure the difference here. So it says two and a half. I will, I will split that difference and make a mark on the wall. One and a quarter. And that is going to be pretty close to the center of that two by four. Yeah, it, it looks good. So you'd be safe to put a screw there and hit the two by four. Let's try it. I mean, hopefully, because I can see. Okay, pretty much dead center. That's a, you know what, that's just a little bit to the right. So, you know, the word the wise is the stud finders are not perfect. If you would do that four or five times and do it four or five times, you got a mark and you got like five or six marks there. I, just pick the middle and you're gonna be really close. Let me tell you about that feature that I recommend. Okay, now let me show you how the voltage detection works. It's going to alert you that there is electricity back there, uh, voltage, and to be careful with uh, where you put the screw and how long of a screw you put in there. All right, same things before, we're finding the edge of the two by four, there we go. You see it lit up right there? It's alerting you that there is power behind. There's power back there and you gotta be careful. All right, so that's how to use a stud finder and when to use a stud finder. Do me a favor, if you got value from this video, will you give it a thumbs up, like it, uh, possibly share it with somebody you feel like they might need this information. And also, if you wanna see more action from the Wallet Boys, uh, consider subscribing. We appreciate it. Thank you very much and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.